Well, welcome to this uh, hopefully very brief video showing you how to uh, use the 12 volt WS2812B uh, LED strips uh, with an Arduino or Atmel type processor. Some of the principles apply to all um, uh, microcontrollers, uh, particularly the 5 volt ones. Um, the uh, the, 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 the WS2812 normally comes in a 5 volt uh, package, which means, you know, current limitations permitting you can drive both the data line and the power straight from an Arduino type uh, Atmel processor. Uh, but this is the 12 volt. Why would you want a 12 volt? Well, if you're dealing with long runs of these um, uh, LEDs, the voltage drop can be significant on a 5 volt rail. That will impact uh, significantly the. Uh, uh, voltage drop and the performance of the uh, strip and uh, as it happens I've got a bunch of uh, power supplies left over 12 volt power supply from the halcyon days of Bitcoin mine mining anybody remember those anyway um, you, you you would ha probably have the same problem if you wanted to run a long strip of 5 volt as you'd have to inject 5 volts along uh, each uh, connection that you make with these strips but this is uh, just to show you how to connect uh, a power supply uh, using uh, a standard Arduino type module. Now, uh, although it says 12 volts, and it is 12 volts, uh, what you have is a series of three of these LEDs, well, these three groups of three LEDs in series, and so you've got a voltage drop of 12 divided by 3, which is approximately 4 volts, so there's nothing magical here going under, gone on under the covers with LED technology. Um, the uh, beautiful protocol of WS2812, a single data line, uh, it has a counter which tells it which uh, LED it needs to address and then it has three separate uh, data registers which will control uh, each of the red, green and blue LEDs inside each chip and PWM determines the brightness to get you the correct hue in the right combination. So that's the strip, this is just a, a 50 centimeter strip uh, to begin with, uh, uh, 30 LEDs. And the way to connect this uh, up initially, as you can see here, is I'm using a data pin uh, to the center data, data line on the uh, WS2812. I'm uh, powering the uh, positive rail to the strip uh, via this barrel connector here because I have a 12 volt power supply here. Um, now the important thing here is you must have the grounds tied together. So I've taken the ground from this and this barrel connector, which I'll connect now, they come on by default with uh, the, a bright white light uh, with no data signal. Uh, so that's what you're seeing right there. There's just a blink sketch running on here right now. What we've got is a, a, a ground coming out of this power supply into the ground of the Arduino module and back into the ground of the WS2812 strip. The grounds must be tied together. It's not called potential difference for nothing. It, we must have the same uh, uh, frame of reference for voltage uh, when we're c dealing with controllers and and uh, communications protocols. So um, I'm going to uh, show you uh, how to uh, get this working. We're going to use the fast LED uh, library and. Um, uh, to do that we have to go to uh, the hub of gits and download the um, uh, package you see on the screen right now uh, I'll take a copy of the zip here for now download the zip um, we'll download it into Arduino libraries fast LED master and then we'll start the uh, Arduino IDE And then uh, we'll have to. Uh, uh, oh, where am I? Wrong space. Sketch uh, add file. Uh, then we'll have to um, uh, include a library, and we'll do that. We'll add include a library from the zip file we just downloaded, and that's in uh, documents. Arduino libraries and where are we fast LED there it is there so we can now incorporate that and it should be installed library added to libraries check include right so now we can go to one of the demonstrations um, examples uh, fast LED probably near the bottom somewhere there it is there okay 
Fast LED examples. Um, demo, 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 demo real 100. Look at that. Okay. Uh, a couple of things you're going to have to modify. You need to put in the data line you're using. As you can see from the diagram on the screen, I'm using data pin uh, 6. I've only got 30 LEDs. Um, have I got the uh, right um, COM port? No, I think we're COM port 6. Let's put it onto COM port 6. Right, now, for this temporary setup, um, we're, we're going to be using power to this from the USB port. But uh, the beauty in this case of using an Arduino board, and there are very rarely any beauties in using an Arduino board because of all the, the rubbish they put on the board which consumes power, is that there is a 12 volt, uh, or 12 volt capable input, input port. So now we've got 12 volts, after this is all set up, we've got 12 volts to the strip, uh, but then we can also spline the connection, or splice the connection, and power it via there. Don't do both at the same time at the moment, that would cause tremendous problems with the uh, voltage regulators on the board, it could blow up your, your Arduino, but uh, once we have this set up and the code loaded on here, we can disconnect the USB port and then connect the 12 volt port in directly into the uh, Arduino to power the microcontroller through the buck converters, but also directly with the 12 volt WS2812. So let's compile this now and upload it. It's currently got the blink sketch on board. Okay, uh, compiling. Uh, oh, <laughs> uh, I'm always compiling for the uh, AT Tiny. Oops, let me switch that to the. Uh, uh, I don't normally use the Arduino Uno, it's just got so much uh, overkill for what I need normally. Right, let's try that again. Beg your pardon. And there we go, uploading. Should see the lights. Yes, we do. Excellent, uh, and that's the demo reel. Let's take a look at the code in the demo reel. Uh, oh, funky colours, huh? Look at this. Um, yeah, it's probably going to go through. I, I can see them here. You can see them here. There's a there's a rainbow function, a rainbow with glitter confetti sign, sign long. Uh, juggle and BPM, and you can just choose if, you, if any of those take your fancy. Choose them and modify them to your own to your own requirements. But uh, that's essentially uh, the demo working. Now, uh, I should be able to uh, disconnect this uh, microcontroller from the USB port, and then plug in the 12 volt power supply oops, <laughs> directly into there. And there we have. The microcontroller working completely from a 12 volt power supply. 12 volts directly into this uh, with the ground tied to the board and the board taking its power through a buck converter from the 12 volt power supply from my 5 amp 12 volt power supply. Um, so that's it. Uh, if you want to run a longer one uh, what we can do is we can string these together. I've got another one over here. This is, uh, I think, 60. Yeah, this is a 60. We can, we, can, we can daisy chain these things. We have to modify the code, of course. Ah, which means we have to go back, uh, idiot, not you, me. We have to go back uh, to powering it from the USB port. Um, modify the code back over here. Uh, 60 plus 30, 90 LEDs. Yes, that's about right, 90 LEDs. We're still on... Uh, pin 6. So let's give that a go and let's may as well connect these up now. So here we go, a whole bunch more. And there we have it. Um, we have the same demo reel sketch but now working on a string of uh, 90 LEDs. and. Voltage drop, power, you know, you're all on 12 volt now, you're on, you're on grown up uh, voltage um, uh, with plenty of amps uh, to run long strings. Um, now, uh, just to prove that it still works, uh, we'll disconnect the USB and we've dropped power so we've got no more signaling coming out of the um, MCU and we'll plug it back into the splice connection here. Uh, diagram you can see on the screen again and here we go 
90 LEDs, uh, all powered from a 12 volt power supply. The buck converter on, on the Arduino and directly into the 12 volt uh, grouped uh, three LEDs uh, in series on the WS2812. Hope that was useful. Um, if it was, give me a thumbs up. All the best. Cheers.